Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Crazy news right now, okay? They have just dropped the intro cutscene for Revelations. We don't know when the map's coming out, we don't know any details about it, but we're getting the intro cutscene now, the prologue. So we're gonna be doing a live reaction, haven't seen it yet, gonna be watching it for the first time, super excited. Treyarch are going absolutely in with all of these teasers and trailers that they've been giving us and just all of it has been amazing. So for the first time, here we go with the Revelations intro cutscene. I'm very excited. Very. Blood and gore. Okay. Uh, let's recap a bit, shall Let's we? do it. This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. Oh my goodness. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You, little. Well, so far, so good. Yo! But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. You? Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, especially after so long. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning key here, and you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. What? What? Thing is, Maxis went and ballsed everything up. Wait. Please, you must help me. He heard voices, you see. Wait, who is that? Calling to him. What? Together, can we prevent the destruction of your world? Ooh. It wasn't really his fault. You know, he hasn't actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning synergy and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. The Shadow Man. Oh, baby. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. Yes, mate. Yes! Let's go! Ooh. Oh, my goodness. This isn't any vague woo -hoo 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 evil. We're talking about the Apothecaries, the most powerful and evil entities in all the existences that ever existed. And now they're here in our perfect world. Oh my I'm God. not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show. Oh my god! Sixth. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. That's the ninth. It's coming out on the sixth. It's coming out on the sixth? What? It's coming out as soon as we get back from COD XP. And there's so much- Oh my good- My brain. My brain. What? Wh Yo, this is so fascinating, but holy smokes, this is weird. This is weird. So it's the countryside, just like we were saying was going to be happening. We've been saying that for ages now. The reverted countryside, that's fine. We've known that that would be a thing for a long time. There are kids in the house 
We've known that would be happening for a while now because the whole idea of Samantha and Eddie, their souls being in the house and having been in the house for ages, and now we have other kids in the house, presumably the other souls that have been collected and brought in there, that's why there are other children. But this whole idea of the Shadow Man actually causing Maxis to falter and mess things up is extremely interesting because the Shadow Man is an Apothecon, or is of the Apothecons, an envoy of the Apothecon race, and the Apothecons are very much a race that you would expect to be causing all these problems because that is literally their life goal. That is their purpose right now in the universe. They have been banished from creation. They are below creation. But clearly, the Shadow Man has tricked Maxis into switching things up and allowing them back into the universe, back into creation, in order to try and get some power for themselves. So, uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? We've got to watch this again. This is so mind-boggling, and it's long! This is like, what, like two or three minutes of just story and story and story and story and story! I love it! Let's go! Oh my goodness me. The this countryside. be a new start, really. A perfect world. The countryside. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. The known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. Paintings. The little yous. You, little. Well, so far, so good. Pause. Pause. He's got the rocket, the tank, the models, the gramophone, the teddy, Fluffy in the background. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Man, oh man. Those three souls. That's Dempsey, that's Nikolai, and that's Takio. And Eddie's already there. And Sam is there as well. And there's Jug in the background. And you got the mannequin. And you got the posters. And you got the curved roof. And you got the window. You've got it all. Oh, man. But things started to go wrong. The siren. Soon after you arrived. Soon after you arrived. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis. Especially after so long. Okay. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning key here. And you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. The thing is, the thing that is confusing me right now is that Monty is talking very much in the past tense, as if we don't know what has just happened. And it's, it's just a bit bizarre to me that the way they're doing the storytelling here is they've got Gorod Crovey, where it's all like, we'll be going to the house, we'll be going there soon, etc. And then we have this period of question mark, which is the build up to the DLC. And then suddenly they're saying, oh yeah, you've done all this stuff. And uh, this is something that the characters have lived through. And they're sort of recapping it in the intro cutscene. It just feels a bit, a bit peculiar, but let's keep it going. Okay, they destroyed the machines. Maxis went and balls everything up. Hold on. Hold on. Is that... Is that the 935 Field Ops manual by any chance? It just might be. Let's keep rolling. Please. You must help me. He heard voices, you see. Calling to him. Only together can we prevent the destruction of your world. Interesting. It wasn't really his fault. You know, he hasn't actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning syndicate and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. So does he swap souls with the Shadow Man there? Is that what happens? Because that glowing that we saw in the key, that is very much the soul animation. That yellow light, if we 
recycle it a little bit, recycle, rewind it, sorry. Bring it back. All of this, this yellow light business, that is very much the soul movement animation and the soul movement effect. And the fact that Maxis is there and he's like, Rawr! and then it ends up with the shadow man going plop and he's outside the key. We've known ever since Shadows that the shadow man was in the key. We've not been sure if Richtofen knew that the shadow man was in the key, but we have known. We have known for sure. We've also known that the other sacrifices are not in the key, confirmed by Blundell himself. So it's interesting that there is a soul swap going on here, seemingly, which is what is causing the Shadow Man to come out. The thing that is key is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning synergy. I love this. And accidentally released even bigger I love this. I love it. The floating. Someone even I didn't know was in there. And Monty didn't know that he was in there, which is intriguing because it gives us a bit of an idea of Monty's knowledge as a sort of body of information. He doesn't know everything, clearly, and it's interesting that that is, that is the case. The Shadow Man. Boom! The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. Ho! Hype. Dude, this is insane. This is actually insane. I'm I'm so done right now. I'm just I'm I'm in heaven to be honest. I am in heaven. There's so much story content in here. This is it. Boom, look at that. Phasing in. Holy moly. Dude, this is nuts. This is so nuts. I love it, but it's nuts. Wow. Hold on. What are these? Do we recognize these buildings? Nice. So, I'm going to be absolutely truthful with you. Things yeah. have got way too far out of control. This isn't any vague woo -hoo 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 evil. We're talking about the apothecary. Yes, mate. The most powerful and evil and Pause. Pause. That portal looks interesting. That portal looks interesting. There's a load of them. These things are like zapping the- I mean, this is freaking Call of Duty zombies right now, and we've got space worms siphoning off energy from a giant blue ball of electricity in space. What? Powerful and evil entities in all the existences that Oh, it's spitting a rock of 115? Ever existed. And now... Interesting. Yo, you've got a death ray in the background there. there a death ray in the background. Okay, so Nacht is very much embedded in the map then. That's cool. And there it is. There's the house, man. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show. Wait, so Mon Monty's inside and he just shuts the doors? He's just like, out you go, lads. Out you go, you got some work to do. <laughs> Boom! The Day of Reckoning is here. Salvation, DLC Pack 4. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy smokes, and there are four multiplayer maps. Wow, I mean... Treyarch, what have you done? What have you... Just... I can't take it. It's just... It's, it's insane. That's actually insane. There is so much going on. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? Oh, I love Monty's character so much! He's so great! This was and the music was meant to be a new start, really. Oh. A perfect world, free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. I love it. I love it. Was love going to it. be a place of safety for the kids, the little yous, you little. Well, 
So far, so good. But I do think that there is something else going on here. Because right now, Monty has no reason to be helping us. Maybe he doesn't like the Apothecons for some reason. Fine. He calls them the, like, well, certainly the Shadow Man, the Harbinger of Evil and stuff. Fine. Maybe he doesn't like the Apothecons. But I cannot help but feel like Monty has a, a little evil twist in him coming up in the future. I just cannot help it. Which is rather exciting, and also makes me wonder what exactly is going to end up happening in this freaking map. Oh my goodness. What's the thing on the floor? What's the map on the floor? Is it just a random map, or is it a specific map of something that we are actually re going to recognize? Hard to say. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. I cannot wait to break this down in full. This has been my first reaction. I'm kind of in awe right now. Like, I haven't talked in this video as much as I normally would in, like, a reaction where I watch it through once and I don't talk much and then I just talk a load afterwards. Honestly, I'm a little dumbfounded. I'm a little dumbfounded. I'm a little bit speechless right now. There's just so much to take in. And I cannot wait to dive into the depths of Revelations in a few weeks' time and find out where things are going to be going. I'm so excited. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.